Welcome once again to another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I do thank you for taking the time to watch my videos, which hopefully are informative and when you decide to purchase your next book, the book that I'm about to review for you will be one you will seriously consider. And the book this time out is The Whistling by Rebecca Netley. This is published by HarperCollins and it retails for $24.99. Now, I can't whistle, so I'm not going to try to whistle. So we'll let the book do the whistling. Uh, it is a debut novel from Rebecca Netley. Um, if you like gothic horror, um, dark, you know, old mansions and things like that, then this book is definitely one that you will appreciate very much. It's set in Scotland in 1860, and uh, a woman by the name of Elspeth Swansome um, she is heading to this very isolated region, it's a Scottish island uh, called Skelsey, and uh, she's going to be a nanny to a young girl, I think uh, she's nine years old, called Mary. Now, Mary has had major trauma. Uh, the body of her twin brother, William, was found um, at the base of the rocks by the sea, and um, the nanny uh, that was there before, or governess if you want to call her, um, her name was Hetty, she suddenly disappeared. So there's some strange things, obviously, but the most unusual thing of all is the fact that Mary, since her brother died, has not uttered a single word. She has become a mute, and she is very unresponsive. Um, you know, seeing her brother dead was very traumatic for her. So um, her aunt, Miss Gillies, has hired Elspeth um, to be the new nanny. Now, Elspeth feels there is something strange about the whole house. There's just a, a creepy undertone to the story. And soon we find even more because Elspeth begins discovering dolls around the house, dolls in rooms that aren't inhabited in. Uh, it's very, very creepy. And uh, she also starts hearing is a whistling sound as if someone is whistling and there are times when she's looked up at windows and it's almost like there's a figure there and there's almost times when she's in the house and she feels some sort of presence now Mary um, still is very uncommunicative and um, uh, Elspeth does her best you know to be kind to her and it's obvious that Mary is responding, like she's not talking, but she still sort of almost smiles sometimes. And um, Miss Gillies says that that's really a response that they hadn't seen for quite some time. So, but we can tell and we know uh, there are many, many secrets to the house. Now, the book is narrated by Elspeth and her observations of what is going on. Uh, since the area is so so tiny and so remote there are not a lot of people in the area so um, what they see out there is are they phantoms uh, are they ghosts from the past is it something to do with William and the disappearance of Nettie uh, did Nettie die and is her ghost trying to come back to you know to tell people what really happened so uh, on each on each page there's always something going on but I like the way that Rebecca Netley has written the book it's it doesn't come right out it's not in your face horror or not in your face ghost stories it's very subtle and like they say slow and steady runs the race and in this book the fact that she has layered it so delicately that it's a bit by bit by bit and as we feel the tension mounting and we feel we know what's happening and is Mary going to talk? Well, you'll have to read the book to find out. But um, Mary and Elspeth uh, become very close. Uh, she's like a, you know, a second mother to her, really. So it definitely is a chilling ending as well. So if you're looking for a book that is a traditional old-style ghost gothic story then the whistling is for you it kind of reminds me at times uh, I used to watch dark shadows back in the 60s and at times it was like a gothic horror and there were 
you know, images and people that were there or weren't they there. So this, this book, like I said, harkens back to the classic ghost story. So if you're looking for a great book, uh, I'm not just whistling Dixie when I say the whistling will wet your whistle for a darn good book. And I'm looking forward to future books from Rebecca Netley. So that's the book I wanted to draw to your attention today. Hopefully you'll agree with me. So if you go to your bookstore, please seek this book out. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.